Well, I'm not the kind to kiss and tell, but I've been seen with fire up. I've never been with anything less than a nine. So fine, I've been on fire with Sally Field, gone past with a girl named Bo. But somehow they just don't end up as mine. It's a death defying life I lead. I take my chances. I die for a living in the movies and the TV. But the hardest thing I ever do is watch my leading ladies kiss some other guy while I'm bandaging my knee. I might fall from a tall building. I might roll a brand new car. Cause I'm the unknown stuntman that made Redford such a star. I've never spent much time in school, but I taught ladies plenty. It's true, I hire my body out for pay. Hey, hey, I've gotten burned over Cheryl Teague's blown up for Rocky Welch. But when I wind up in the hay, it's only hay. Hey, hey, I might jump an open drawbridge or Tarzan from a vine. Cause I'm the unknown stuff. It makes Eastwood look so fine Take it up. Congressman, it'll be beautiful when we finish. We'll turn this place into a garden of Eden. Yes, Congressman, everything is in motion. The work gangs are going full speed ahead. By the time they're finished, we'll have all our plans approved with your help. No, sir, that's no problem. The people here are believers. They won't know what hit them. Yes, sir. Bye. Dupree, I need a little more time. Junior is too good at snooping into my business. But what can we do? He's in Los Angeles to testify. Find an excuse to get rid of him. And fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good, good. Yeah, that oil should slow down the air conditioning <laughs> real fast. Well, that should handle your frame. <laughs> hey, you go tell the police to come and get the wild man. Hey, Dupree, you here? Hey, Dupree! Hold it, mister! Oh, it's a mistake. Junior, I told you not to do it. Dupree! He's got a gun. Get out of my way! So that's why you wanted to meet me behind the police station. Copy. You a friend of Godzilla's? Peter Dupree, Deputy Sheriff, Clarksburg, Louisiana. A witness. Guy's a pushover. Look at that face. It's almost primitive in its innocence. Defies age. It's childlike. Guy's a baby. Yeah, that's what they said about baby face Nelson. What's he wanted for? Uh, destroying private property. 
He's some kind of environmental nut. What exactly did he do? He poured oil down the air conditioning system at the Metropolitan Police Station. When they tried, <laughs> when they tried to pick him up, he resisted arrest. Go directly to jail. <laughs> Wouldn't you rather go directly to Louisiana? Louisiana? Yeah, that's where he is. Mmm. Oh, Creole cooking. Bayou's grits. Mmm, gumbo. Money, which you're out of. You just push the right button. When do we leave, Colt? What do you mean, we? You have to stay and coordinate the rest of the stunts on the film. By the way, get Harry Drew to do that fall. <laughs> Harry Drew's a man. Oh, you noticed. The stunt calls for a woman to make that fall. Yeah, well, you can wear a wig. I don't need a wig. Jody, it's a high fall. Yeah, and that's a low insinuation that I'm not woman enough to double for a woman. You got a point. I've got a lot of them. Community chess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Karate Girl, scene 26, take three, Jody, action! please for one minute thank you I just wanted to thank you all for coming out here and celebrating my victory our our victory and I have a bonus for you good people I am donating a library to the town of Clarksburg no 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 <laughs> Now you all enjoy the free food and drink with my appreciation. Thank you. You sure got them eating out of your hand. Throw them a bone now and then, they'll sit up and beg for more. Uh huh. Rich, there's Junior Gallatin. Well, I'll be. Dupree! You miserable excuse for data bait. Now, Junior, now you hold it right there. Junior, hold it right there. Get away from me. I'm gonna... Junior, I'm a peace officer. Mm. You framed me. Ah. <laughs> Nobody wanted to hear my testimony after that. Junior! <laughs> <laughs> What is wrong with you? Him! That deputy of yours framed me in Los Angeles. He stopped me from testifying before a congressional environmental committee. Now, I don't know what he's up to or who's behind him. Those are serious charges, Junior. But you don't have to worry about it any longer. I'll take care of it. Yeah. Junior! Hold on. I said I'll take care of it. Ain't my word good enough for you? All right. Now, y'all, you just go on. Keep going. I'll talk to you later. Go on. Whew. I'd say we're about five miles from Clarksburg, Cole. Uh-huh. 
This is the forest primeval. The murmuring pines and the hemlocks, bearded with moss and in garments green, indistinct in the twilight. This is where it all took place. Or what took place? Well, Longfellow's Evangeline. Can't you just sense the history in the air? I thought it was the humidity. It's hot. I can't stop thinking about it. What about Wordsworth? That's Longfellow. No. About what kind of social forces could have turned somebody like Junior Gallatin into a criminal? Well, no one said he was a criminal. Well, he's arrested and he jumped bail. That's criminal. Well, they're desperate. We're only bringing him in. We're not trying him. Yeah, I guess you're right, Colt. You have a cousin. You're quite a guy. Tell that to Devin. Who's that? That makeup man's daughter I'm trying to date. Some childlike pushover. Doesn't look much like his picture, does he? Why would anyone want to wrestle an alligator? Well, it's part of the culture, a uh, ritual like climbing a mountain or baseball. Yeah, baseballs don't bite. Well, that's the point. It's the inherent danger in the sport. It's life or death. Ah, oh, that's it. Do what? Well, there's more baseball players than our alligator wrestler. Come on, Junior. You better get him while he's happy. I guess I better help you, huh? Don't worry, I'll cuff him first. Galladin? Yeah, that's right. What can I do for you? Colt Seavers. You're under arrest. I got a warrant for bail jumping. You're not taking me anyway on that phony charge. Now, Junior, be reasonable before one of us gets hurt. Mainly me. Who's Junior fighting? That's my partner. You sure are a fine looking man. Yeah, thanks. You think I'm pretty too? Yeah. You like my figure song? Yeah. I got me a new hair, dude. You like it? Yeah. Why, you sweet talking the little devil, you. There. I'm glad you're here, Sheriff. I'm from Los Angeles. I got identification right here. Don't make any difference. This man, I got a warrant for his arrest. I'm sure you do. Now you've done it, Junior. Take him to the prison camp. You too. Huh? Hey, wait a minute. There... I wouldn't interfere if I were you. Sheriff Dixon's a mighty powerful man. You might just end up on the chain gang with your friend. Are you kidding? That's my partner, my, my best friend, my cousin. And Junior's my brother. Can he 
you for trouble, boy. Shake it out. All right, come on, let's go. I ought to lay this chain across your head, Stevens. Yeah, we wouldn't even be here if you'd have come along peacefully. And don't worry, you'll get a chance when we get out of here. If you get out, you mean. What do you mean, if? He's got to take us to see a judge. So what? The judge will do what Dixon tells him. You're crazy. Dixon's done a lot of good for Clarksburg. Hear him out, Junior. Hear him out. I've been here six months on a speeding rap. No one even knows I'm here. See them? Same thing. What's the point? Free labor. Good old slavery. And Dixon is the master. Ah, oh, come on. Who arrested you? Who do you think all those guards work for? Dixon. I should have known. Who else had the power? All right, Bradley, come on. Let's go. Uh, give me Sabres and Junior's arrest reports. First, we burn the evidence that shows they were ever arrested. And in the morning, we'll do the same thing to them. But there were witnesses, sure. Of course there were. And I have a signed warrant that shows that I turned Junior over to the bounty hunter. Last we saw, they were on their way to California. Not our problem if they never make it. Chisholm will handle it. Bradley, we all got choices to make in life. And one of my choices is to extend your sentence six months for refusing one of my orders. What order? The one I'm about to give you, boy. You know, you're in a tough spot here. No relatives or friends wondering where you are, what happened to you. My God, boy, you could spend your whole life here and nobody'd ever know or care. Now, this here is your parole. Who's it for? Junior and Colt Savers. They've gone back to Los Angeles. Colt would never leave without me. Dixon showed me the warrant. All signed and everything. He says he turned Junior over to your friend. Then Dixon's a liar. She's going after him right away. Well, if Junior and Colt are in prison... Howie, believe me, there is absolutely nothing you can do in the swamp at night. Except maybe be alligator bait. We'll have a look in the morning, all right? to put things in their proper order. Don't worry about what you can't do. Just think about what you can do. So, um, you really do think I'm pretty, huh? Yes, Evangeline. And my figure is pleasing to you? Come on, I'm not in the mood for sweet talking, okay? Well, why not? Why not? What kind of a woman are you? Your brother and my cousin are in some prison camp and you want to get romantic. You'd never make a good Cajun, Howie. 
You got to learn that this moment, right now, is all we've really got. Wasting your time worrying about tomorrow only loses what we have today. Howie, trust me. By morning, one of our people will find out where they are. made me do it. I'll strangle him. Control yourself, Junior. Now, we talked about what we'd do. He's a weasel. He may be a weasel, but he's also got a gun. Now, my friend's working out there to get us out of here. Now, trust me, just play it nice and cool. Right. Nice and cool now, Junior. Seeing ghosts, Chisholm? Junior, that ain't cool. I don't give a damn. He's a stinking killer. Don't get smart with me, boy. You, <laughs> Junior! Hey, you ain't helping! Nobody touches me. Nobody! Looks like you boys need a little lesson in humility. Throw them in this sweat box. Now, wait a minute. Boy, that's playing it nice and cool, all right. Put them in the boxes in front of the swamp runoff. Conditioning working nice in there. What are you doing in LA in the first place? Going to testify against the Clarksburg Parish Corporation. They want to drain the bayou and turn it into some huge resort. All animal and human life here would have to go. This is public land. The only way they can develop it is through bribery and graft. Well, the corporation framed you, figuring anyone they accused of a crime would lose credibility? Yep. And now I know the corporation is Theo Dixon. Seems like an awful lot of power for a parish sheriff. Well, rumor was that the corporation was tied into some Louisiana congressman who was backed by big money. There they are. Well, how do you know they're in the sweat boxes? That's where Jason said they were. Oh, who's he? A guard that kind of likes me. Yeah, wait here. <laughs> You get arrested. No, no, they don't know I'm here. Junior's sister brought me in. Where is she? She's waiting for me out in the woods. Well, tell her to get me out of here. Howie, we're in a snake pit. Get the state police. That's no good, Colt. Dixon has too much clout. He'd know about it before they got here. We'll have to do something about it ourselves. 
Howie, this whole setup is a real estate scam. Now first, call Terry. Tell her to check out all the building permits in this area. Who's behind it and where the money came from. Right. Then get Jody out here on the double. We're gonna work the Luke escape. The what? It's a picture we did. Now get going, kid, before they spot you. But are you gonna be all right? Think of it this way, kid. Women spend fortunes in health spas trying to lose weight this way. Now get out of here. <laughs> oh, that's right, Sheriff. I can hardly wait to see it. Me either, Miss Appleton. Uh, tell me, where are you calling from? Oh, from my car. Uh-huh. Just a minute, Sheriff, my other lines ring. How far are we from Clarksburg? Three miles. We're real close, Sheriff. I can hardly wait. Isn't that nice? I wonder how she found out about my little project. Jordy, I hate to admit it, but you look sensational. Oh, thanks. I hate to admit it, but if I don't get all this stuff back to the studio intact on Monday, it's gonna be my... my life. Oh, I get it. Charlie in wardrobe. Mm-hmm. Bert in props. And Phil in transportation. What'd you have to promise those guys? Well, nothing. They just took a lot for granted. Yeah, if they ever decide to call in their markers at the same time, you're gonna be a busy little girl. Hey, Cole. Is there water inside your box? Uh-huh. Cole, there's water moccasins out there. One bite and we've had it. Not so loud. Maybe they'll ignore us. We'll only drown. It's not often that someone with your assets comes to Clarksburg, Miss Appleton. Oh, well, I hope to put them to good use, Sheriff. My pleasure. Uh, let me ask you, how did you get wind of our resort plans? Oh, well, I give a lot of parties in Washington, and they provide me with opportunities to hear what's going on. And what is going on? Let's not beat around the bush, Sheriff. I know all about your little resort. I want in on the ground floor. And if I come in, a lot of my friends are going to be very interested in the investment opportunities. You are a very bright lady. Oh, well, my daddy always said, invest in a man's greed or his thirst. And if you find both in one man, you found a bonanza. So tell me, Sheriff, are you my bonanza? I could be, Miss Appleton. I believe you'll like our project. Well, before I spend a penny, I want to see the property. Has that little problem been eliminated? It's about to be. There in the boxes. If the water don't get them, the snakes will. Well, damn it, get him out of there and back to work. I don't want my investor hearing anything and hurry. Uh, you are in for a treat. Looks kind of depressing to me. All it takes is a little imagination. Now, uh, for instance, think of this as a, a golf course right here. And a big hotel right here. We got company, boys. One word out of you. And they're going to be witnesses to your getting shot trying to escape. Stay close. These men are vicious. Oh, will I feel safe with you by my side. Ready to escape? We haven't any guns. Don't worry about it. 
He won't want to hurt a beautiful investor. Uh, like I said, just use your imagination now. Over here, Miss Appleton, I wouldn't go too close to... Come out, Junior! Oh. One more step, Sheriff, and I'll break her neck. You hit the lady. There's no lady, she's a stunt woman. Now back off. Back off! I can feel her neck starting to go, Sheriff. Come on, Junior. Oh, my pride. What do you mean I'm a lady? Drive! Do what he says before he chokes me! Hold your fire! She's in that limo! Here you go, Colt. You mean you're really not hurt? Ah. Watch. Hey, Colt. Hit me. See? Boy, you're tough. <laughs> yeah, Hollywood girls are like that. You guys are kind of tough yourselves. Well, you should have been in that sweat box. Debris, I want every boat and every deputy and his bloodhound ready to go. And call Carter at the state revenue office and tell him to bring in a helicopter. Where's Evangeline? She's waiting for you at the fishing shack. That's clear across the bayou. She left the boat at the crossroads. That's good. We're gonna nail Dixon before we leave. Jody, you gotta get him back to his office. How are you have to find his resort records while she keeps him busy? Here we are. Okay, Jody, look ravaged. Cold? Come on, a studio wardrobe. How he played dead. Come on, Junior, let's go. These stump people are weird. Only when we work. There's the boat. Let's go. What the? Oh, oh Theo. I knew you'd come to save me. Oh. Miss Hep. Here. No. Take care. You're right now. Oh. Hell, you got my blessing. Now get after him, you tangle foot incompetence. The man who brings me Seavers and Junior gets a promotion and a bonus. He's in the heavy swamp. I'm looking, but I can't find him. Well, keep looking.
gently now, gently. She has been manhandled enough for one day. Here you are, Miss Appleton. You can sit right down here. Now, take it easy. You have nothing to fear anymore. Oh, Theo, you are so kind. Don't you have something better to do? Miss Appleton, is there anything I can get you? Well, a champagne would be nice. I'll explain it later. Just push and get us out of here. I want to know. Now tell me, why'd you punch out my lights? That seemed to be the best way to communicate at the time. He made me look like a jackass. <clears throat> you don't need my help for that. <clears throat> Nobody beats up Junior Gellison. You seem to be doing a pretty fair job of that yourself. <laughs> now, where is that fishing shack? Down the old Cajun Trail. <laughs> no debris and those deputies chasing us. They'll know where we've headed. Yeah, I guess you're right. We better not head there. Nope, wrong. Oh, there's too many of them. Sure, have ever heard of guerrilla warfare? What about your friends? Oh, well, they'll put on their own little show, and then we'll join them for the big finale. Come on. Stunt people. Oh, Theo, you are so gallant. I feel we have a spiritual link. Uh, talking about uh, love and linkage, I would uh, dearly love to firm up our uh, affiliation? Oh, I bet you would. <laughs> uh, begging your pardon, ma'am, but shouldn't we be on our way? Always interrupting at the wrong moment. Uh, uh do, you, do you, uh, have to go? Oh, yes, I do. But I'll be back to see you. <laughs> Ooh, you know, I feel a sudden chill. Be a darling. Uh, give me a jacket, please. Oh, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. of course. Very sweet of you, but I was never in any danger. Did you hear that? He thinks I'm sweet. I declare the man just never stops giving me compliments. I do love it. Hey, boy. You stop messing with my sister. I'm not the messer, I'm the messy. Junior. That's right, you leave him alone. So what's the plan, Colt? Well, we did everything but paint arrows on the road. Everything's working right. We should be surrounded in a little while. Should work just like the Houston picture. Where everybody died at the end? We died. We died? You died. You died. Where are they? Junior and Seavers got past us, but the hounds picked up their scent to here. We got them, Sheriff. Where? They took off down the trail. So? It's flooded to the end. They're trapped and don't know it. None of them come out but Miss Appleton. Do I make myself clear? All right, let's go. Come on. Come on, dogs. Colt! You better rewrite that script of yours again. What's wrong? Trail's flooded. Is there another way out? How good are you in quicksand? Oh, what can we do, Colt? Well, we can change our plan. But I like the other plan. Yeah, well, flexibility's a sign of a mature man. 
The last time I looked, I could hardly be mistaken for a man, and I still like the old plan. That's it. Don't worry. Wait till you hear the new one. Thanks for the vote of confidence, kid. Well, what is the new plan? You'll be the first to know. Come here, dogs. Here we go. Come on, dogs. That's it. Come on. Okay, boys. Now stay close and alert. They're along here someplace. Merle. Merle, you take the left side. Harlan, you cover the right. And Powers, I want you behind us so they can't come around and sneak up back. And take off them glasses. You can't see doodly as it is. And look sharp. Junior Gallatin knows these woods and they'll be on you before you know it if you ain't careful. All right, boys, now pay attention to me. When we bushwhack them, I want to make it quick and clean. So watch where you're aiming, Harlan. You have a tendency to shoot up the countryside. You hear me, Harlan? Harlan? <coughs> you must have seen something heading this way. Merle! Merle, take it! <laughs> <out. laughs> Ready for the big finale? Oh, did I look victimized enough? Well, use your own discretion. Uh, let's keep it PG. What's next? Can you still hit high C? Ah! 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 Dupree, call all the men. We're heading in. Sheriff, we're it. Well, where is everybody? I don't know. Never mind. We'll handle it ourselves. Ah, uh, listen, lay one on me, just to give me some momentum. Let me try. Uh, sure, why not? Hey, you hit her. Well, I thought she was supposed to duck. No, you were supposed to miss her. Oh. But what about Jody? She'll handle it. Stunt people. My God, they beat her up. You get over there and cover me. Miss Appleton, did they? Oh, it was horrible. What can I do? Uh, surrender. To who? It's whom? Them. Jody, look out. <laughs> All wrapped up, just like a Christmas present. Yeah, it will be. As soon as the federal marshal sees the papers, how he got out of Dixon's office. And yeah, then it's a wrap. Now, don't hit me, Junior. I was only following orders. Well, you shouldn't have. Oh. Jody takes a punch better than him. <laughs> <laughs> The state marshal has Dixon in custody. Yeah, I wonder what chain gang he's going to. <laughs> Me and the rest of the men are mighty grateful to you. You spent enough time out there on the chain gang. Hope you don't hold what I did against him. Well, like you said, you never could have done it anyway. Thank you, Cole. Thank you, Junior. show you what a country girl can do. Oh, no, no, not Come on. Oh, go ahead, Howie. Remember, this is the forest prime evil. <laughs>
<laughs> what are you doing? Well, I do not intend to be a wallflower. Tonight at 8, the no-nonsense law enforcement of the United States quash more criminal capers in Border Security USA before Steven Seagal has to go back to his former mobster ways and once more smash out some Aikido moves as Seagal season continues with Driven to Kill at 9. Comic book action next though with the Joker trying to steal Gotham's cash in Double Batman. <laughs>